how to use Vue.js in our WordPress plugins. Really easy to do. So we've got a Vue.js application here and we all know just run npm run dev to get the development server running. And then that will start running on port 5173. So we can see it there. That's great, that's working. Really good app I've got here. But we've got a WordPress website, brand new WordPress website here. And we want that app to be running in our WordPress website. How do we do that? Well, it's really easy. So if we look at our view project, we can see how our view script is loaded. If we go to this index.html, you'll see there's this script tag here, type equals module, and then it's got the source. So that's the main script tag, this one here. And that's just being loaded onto the page and that is loading our application. So we need to do the same thing in WordPress. So I've created a really simple WordPress plugin and we're just gonna enqueue that script and we're gonna add that type equals module and that's gonna get our app running. So the first thing I wanna do is, if I have a look here again, this is our Vue.js app. I wanna add this div with the ID equals app. So I wanna add that to our WordPress page. So this is my home page, and I'm just gonna add a HTML block. I would never normally use this block editor, but just for this example, I'm gonna try and find HTML or code or something. Oh yeah, okay, HTML. And we're just gonna paste that there. And I'm gonna just put load app here, update that. And then if we go to our home page here, that should appear there. So this is where we want our app to load. So now we need to enqueue the script. So if we go to my plugin. I've already activated this plugin. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this enqueue script hook. So we just need to include where the script is, which is here. So it's on port 5173 and that is the location of it. So if we save that now and go to our WordPress website, it's not going to work, but we should see something happen, some sort of error probably. Let's have a quick look, refresh the page. We should see it at least try to load it, or it should load, but it's not gonna display our app. So we're looking for main, there we go. So look, we can see, and it's coming from localhost 5173, but it's not loading our app. So what we need to do is we need to do what I said before, and we need to add this type equals module to the script. So. To do that, it's really easy. We're just gonna use this function. And by the way, I'm gonna post all this code on my website and the link will be in the description. So you can just copy it and paste it straight into your plugin or whatever you wanna do with it. So we're just gonna use another hook, which will run a function. So this is basically gonna add type equals module. So it's gonna look through each of the scripts and it's gonna look for this handle, which we've used up here. So I've just called it Vue.js. So if it's if it doesn't equal Vue.js, it's just gonna return the tag unordered. If it does equal Vue.js, it's going to do this. It's gonna add type equals module, and then it's just gonna return the script. So if we save that now, go back to our WordPress website, and it should load. There we go, so it's loaded. So that's how you include Vue.js in your WordPress plugin. In the next video, I'm gonna show how to send a post request from a form in your Vue.js application to your WordPress plugin and then how to handle that form and send a response.